Hey friend, hey, and welcome or welcome back to Sharina's XOXO YouTube channel. In today's video, we will go through my closet and put together some Pinterest inspired looks. So how I decided to put this video together is because I'm notorious for saying I don't have nothing to wear. Like, I either gotta go shopping or I'm not going because I don't got nothing to wear. And then I decided to challenge myself by going on to Pinterest. I save a lot of um, styles and looks and I just like how people put things together. So I have a whole board um, basically just dedicated to style and fashion. So I decided to start going through that to figure out what of these items that I pin, which one of these um, kind of like outfits that I've already pinned, do I have similar things already in my closet? And I came up with, I do believe it's like five outfits. Some things that I probably wouldn't put together the way it was put together on Pinterest or honestly, I just, if I'm just in the closet and I just want to throw something on, I don't even think to put it together that way. So I actually really enjoyed this um, challenge and it also let me know that your girl got some clothes. I just don't be willing to put them on. That's the real issue and that's a whole nother video. But anyway, so let's go ahead and jump right on into the first look. So the first look, I kind of paired two different looks and i went through the closet to figure out what i actually already have so one look and i'll try my best to put these all on the screen but one look um she has on like a white um bralette like a long it really looks like a lingerie set and she has it as a top with a blazer and some jeans and i have another look that's basically the same kind of top but it's nude with jeans and then all new accessories. Now, some of the accessories I kind of threw in and then some of them not, not as much. Um, if I had something to go with it, I put it in. If I didn't, then I just left it out. Really, I feel like that's probably where I have more room to grow is really with my accessories in different colors because y'all know I'm notorious for black. At this point, I've banned myself from buying any more black purses. <laughs> I, I'm notorious for black, and I had to get out of it because now that I'm trying to put pieces together, I need I need colors. I need the variety. The first piece I put together, I basically did exactly what I just explained. I took a lingerie set that I have, and I just took the top of the lingerie set um, and used it as my shirt. The Pinterest pin in both of them, they have ripped jeans. So I just took some light ripped jeans with my dark um, black lingerie top. And I kind of actually like the contrast. However, this is not an outfit. Well, I guess like in spring, summer, it could be an outfit that you would wear without a jacket. But uh, with this going to the cooler months, it's not really an outfit that I would wear without the jacket on. Um, so I paired it with, in the Pinterest picture, she paired it with a blazer. I decided to pair it with just a white faux leather, uh, jacket that I got from Forever 21. But, uh, if, you know, if, if fitting, I could always use, I have, um, uh, one or two blazers as well. I could pair it with a blazer or you could also put it with, uh, like a faux leather jacket, especially because it's fall right now so it's I felt like that was more fitting. The second look I found on Pinterest actually is a leopard print spaghetti strap. It kind of looks like it's uh, probably more of like a bodysuit. It's paired with high rise leggings or like the liquid legging type style pants um, with a trench coat and what I decided to do is pair it with of course what I already have in my closet. So I have a one shoulder leopard print top. It's not a bodysuit, it's just a top. And then I paired it with um, cargo, cargo pants. These are actually men's cargo pants, um, but they fit and I love how they look on me. So I paired those with the leopard print top. I um, put some black heels with it and my black bag, which is pretty similar to the Pinterest picture because she has, um, they, pu they put black uh, sling back heels with a black bag. Third look is definitely giving um, kind of like fall date night dinner 
uh, date type outfit. The rest is it looks more of like a sheer uh, brown background, and then actually really close. If you look really close to the dress, it actually looks like a, um, a painting, like a um, Michelangelo or that type of style painting on the dress. I actually love this dress um, that they picked for Pinterest with some YSL pumps, a brown YSL bag, with more brown or light brown sunglasses and gold earrings so i have this dress and it's more of like a um blotchy type style so it's black with uh like a a beige a taupe beige at the top and then it goes down to a dark brown the dress is really comfortable um it's kind of like a more like a sweater type of material um it's very snug but it, it's also pretty warm so it's actually really good for like fall weather because um it's a thicker material so it'll keep you warm but I told y'all like I don't really have all the color accessories so this is actually uh proof that your girl needs to accessory shop and definitely get some browns because I didn't have any accessories to go with um with this look the way they styled it which is fine um i do have some brown heels that i paired with the dress next look i decided to do it two different ways um the first way i realized and i'm looking at my phone at the pictures well actually it's two pinterest looks and they look really similar so one is a white dress um with uh like a army fatigue um camouflage type coat and then the other one is a black dress same type of coat so the first look i have is the white dress and they paired it with some green um navy style booties it's open toe booties with the jacket and then a it kind of looks like a, a deep olive kind of looks like a brownish olive handbag um have a white dress that I don't see, but I really just don't wear white dresses nor yellow dresses for real but I do have a white dress in the closet it just sits there so in the event that I was going somewhere honestly I would want to layer this up because it is white and it is fall and you know people don't typically wear white after the after Labor Day um not saying that I wouldn't if I was going somewhere and it was appropriate that I would actually wear this dress. Um, but I would wear the white dress with these olive booties that I have. And then I have like this green um, clutch handbag that has um, patches on it. So it gives you like that army look. And then I also have a fatigue jacket. It is a lighter jacket that I got from Shein. With the black dress, I pretty much did the same exact thing. I did change the shoes though and put uh, black strappy heels with a black dress. And then if I wanted to, or if it you know was a little chilly, I could always put the um, army fatigue jacket on top of the black dress. It kind of transitions that dress because the black dress that I have is kind of more, you know, it's definitely a summer dress. Um, layering it up would transition it into a fall dress. I would actually change those booties um, if it if I was going out at night where it would be a little bit chilly. I would change those and put something more closed, like closed toe black booties on. And then with the jacket, I could actually wear the jacket, um, just kind of wear it. You know how you wear a jacket, or I could always tie it around my waist and do it that way just it just kind of depends on where you're going if it's more casual and um the weather is well. next look um I actually like this outfit I actually like this outfit and I think this is the outfit that made me really happy to do this <laughs> to kind of do this challenge because uh I would just normally not put this together it's kind of like that liquid trash bag like pants or leggings with sweaters and some J's and when I put this together, I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cute. I just normally wouldn't put um, those style of pants. Actually, what I have on are leggings. Um, they're pretty thick, though. Ooh, 
they're kind of thick. It'd be perfect for like a fall night to go out and but I'm still comfortable. I don't think I would be that cold. I was still here in Michigan would probably grab a jacket. Um, but on a good night, I wouldn't need one. And actually the outfit was pretty cute. I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to wear this out. This one is the one that kind of surprised me. Okay, this last look actually was pretty fun to put together. It was um, not something I really seen on Pinterest. It kind of was just inspired by the Pinterest post that I previously showed you guys along with those outfits. Kind of mixed some things up and used the lingerie top with those um, like liquid light leggings. And then I put a black blazer on with some sinks and honey that outfit is so cute i surprised myself i actually um really like this i just challenged myself just challenged myself to put things together from what i already have in the closet by using the pinterest pins that i already have pinned and i'll continue to find more styles and different things i like to look up just um like by season so spring looks fall looks winter looks um even coats or even depending on where i'm going to like concert outfits football outfits and then i just go through and say everything that i see all on one board because you never know when you need to mix some things up the last thing i like to do is to get so stuck in like a routine and you put everything the same way all the time i honestly like to mix things up and i also didn't want to feel like i need to always go shopping I mean, I know we love shopping, but sometimes you got enough clothes in that closet to put things together. You just got to learn how to remix it and, you know, switch it up so that you can wear the same things more than once. And I think that social media has kind of played into that because, you know, you get you a few good picks and then I wore it already. I really don't want to put it back on. So once you learn how to like remix and play around with your outfits, then they will honestly get more wears for once <laughs> so i challenge you guys as well go into your closet see you know like what all you have a lot of times people don't even remember what's in their closet so when they shop they're buying things that are similar to what they already have because you're not even really paying attention to what you already have in your closet or in your drawers that's my downfall is the dresser. If you save some things on Pinterest and then you go through your closet and mix it up and then come back and leave me a comment and let me know how y'all like this. Did it work out for you? Did you realize you have outfits or did you just realize you need to give a lot of things away? <laughs> let me know, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button, become one of my friends. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.